All right. So we got game one of the year, game day. You know, we're gonna give you guys a little bit of a game day workout, right? One thing that we want to know about game day, we're working on the show muscle. Okay. There's about five or six different things that we're gonna work on today. We're gonna keep it all under 20 pounds because we don't need to tire ourselves out right before the game, right? So what we're gonna do is you guys are gonna grab your dumbbells. They're gonna be no more than 20 pounds. I got some 20s here. We're gonna work on a couple of different things. First time, we're gonna give you guys a nice little stretch out, all right? We're gonna go for arm circles. Get bigger. Back. Get bigger. I have an arm that a field goal, field goal pose. From here, we're going to bring our elbows in together, push them back out. Elbows in, push them back out. There we go. We're going to go from here, field goal pose, we're going to push it up to the sky, up and down, up and down. Feel like you're doing it to the beat if you want. All right, from here, we're going to go field goal. We're going to go down, back up. Let's get our shoulder blades nice and loose. Preferably, we'll do this before we start this game, Daddy. You know, we got it over a little bit excited. We got into the gym, start picking up weights, all right? That's my fault. And then we get our shoulders nice and loose. Okay, we got to get the music going. got to get us flowing in the mood. Here we go. Side raises, we got 15, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. After those 15, we're going to take those same weights. We're going to do a bend back. And when we bend our back, we want to keep our back flat. And we're going to have our arms go out for a bend back fly, all right? So this is going back. All right, we got 15 of these. Let's go. Bend back fly. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try to keep your back flat. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. After those 15, we're going to pick those weights back up. We're going to go for bicep curls, you know. You got to give them the show muscles. We're going to curl it to the side. Ready? 15, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Yeah, you should get a nice little pump in right about now. Yeah, you know, get the arms looking nice. You gotta do. We got Black Mamba out here. You see how big he is? You wonder how he got that big? He was in the gym. I don't know why they don't have gym exercises on here, but we're going to have to fix that in some other company. It may be the show for real. We're going to have to get that understood. These guys are in the gym. All right. Next thing we got, we're going to have to bend up back. We're going to go for bend back flash. We're going to kick these weights up. All right. Push them up to the sky. Ready? 15. Go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. Good. We're back to the weight. Haven't put them down yet. Last thing that we got. 
We got shrugs, all right? We're trying to get them shoulder blades up, all right? All right, pull to your ears, ready? Go, 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one, 15, good. Good, we're gonna put the weights down. All right, last round. All right, make sure that you guys are nice and ready. Weights back up. We're gonna go for tricep, or excuse me, we're gonna go for a side raise, side raise, 15. Ready, go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good, good. Nice back, nice back. Side raises. Bend it over. Get flat. Make sure you guys keep your back flat. A lot of us be trying to round their back like this. This doesn't help. Keep a nice flat, flat, straight back by sticking your chest up as high as you can. Throw those shoulders back. Gonna go flat. Arms out. Gonna go for flies. Fifteen. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one, 15, good, good. Still got our weights in our hands. We're gonna turn them over, we're gonna go for bicep curls. Ready? Five more seconds. And go. Good. Taking the same weights, we're bending over. We're gonna go for tricep kicks. Same thing with our back. We wanna keep our back as flat as possible. We wanna kick them triceps all the way up to the sky. All right, get them weights up. Ready? Bend over. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Last one, fifteen. Good. Last thing we're doing with the dumbbells. You got shrugs. Get them shoulders up to your ears. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Last one, fifteen. Good. Put the weights down by your side. Check it out. Getting a nice swell right here in your shoulders and your arms. Feel loose coming into the game. Go separate to the stadium. All the girls gonna be like, oh my god, we're getting arms. So big. All that cute stuff, all right? Nice burn. But along with that, we got to remember a lot of swinging, a lot of throwing, it's a lot of core work, all right? So we can't leave out our core. So within this workout, we're going to knock out some core, okay? We got to make sure that we attack the core. We want to get our obliques, and we want to get our rectus dominance, all right? So we're going first, get you guys a ball, stability ball. We're gonna be on a stability ball, all right? And back. Like I said, we want to keep it light just because it is game day. We don't want to overexhaust ourselves. 
We want to make sure that we doing a reasonable number. So we're gonna aim for 15, all right? We're gonna lean all the way back, crunch it in right here, fill it in our rectus abdominis, all right? Right in, the, right in our ass, all right? So go all the way back, we're gonna go for 15. Ready? Crunch up, go. One, all the way back. Two, back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Last one, and fifteen. Good. Now, from there, we want to make sure that we get our obliques in the side abs, right? So we're going to go from laying back, we're going to crunch up, and we're going to twist at the top. When we twist at the top, we're going to hold for one to two seconds just so we can feel our squeeze, and we're going to go all the way back flat, all right? We're going to do 10 on each side just to uh, go in between each round or set of abs, all right? So here we go. 10 each side. We're going to go up to the side. Ready? Go. One. Make sure you guys are squeezing. Two. Three. Four. Go all the way back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. First ten's out the way. Five each side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good, good. Put them down, should be riding up on me, man. <laughs> That's one round down. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little break, about 20 seconds. We're going to give ourselves one more round of that. We got a little bit more abs, and then we're going to get into the forearm. This is what's going to make us make that back feel like a toothpick when we up at the foot, all right? So we'll get into that in a second. And ready? We're going to go back down. It's a ball crunch. 15. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, last one, 15, good, stand up, stretch the mat down one good time, we're going to get back down and we're going to go in for crunch to side twist, get some water. crunch to side twist. Back, lean back, ready and ready. Three, two, one, and up. Turn, one, two. Feel the squeeze, three. Squeeze, four. Squeeze, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, we got ten more. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work, good work, good job. Get them rock ass, man. You get them in the front, get them in the side. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go a little bit more into our obliques just because 
this is so crucial for hitters. A lot of hitters they find themselves over tweaking when they when they swing and they might throw with one hand. When we're talking about two hand versus one hand on the string, this is what I'm talking about. A lot of times when hitters throw with their one hand, they don't know that they overstretch, that they're weak muscles sometimes, and that's why you get those strains, those little nagging pains in your side that keep you out for a while. That's why let's let's work on strengthening that a little bit so you guys don't have to worry about that as much during the season. So another game day exercise that you guys can do with the same stability ball. No way necessary is being on your side. You take the ball, take your bottom hand, you will grip around the, or around the ball, take your top hand behind your head, and you're going to squeeze right here, right on the top of your oblique. All right? You're going to take your elbow to your thigh and back down. That's one. All the way up, back down. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Good. We're going to switch sides. Not trying to kill us to the step. Gripping the ball, hand behind our head. We're we'll going to do the ten to the top. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Good ten. Good ten, chat. Good ten. This guy's still with me. You guys still following me? I hope so. Everybody out there at YouTube land, everybody on Twitch, make sure that you guys are hitting that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing. All right? We're going to keep these exercises going. We're going to keep these workouts going for you. Make sure that you guys get everything that you need. All right? We got one more round. We're going to go side for 10, side other side for 10. And we're going to get into some forearm exercises. All right? Last time. Here we go. Ready? We got 10. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, good, go to the side, go to the other side. Back your head, we're gonna lift up. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Good. We're back up. We're back on our feet. We're going to stretch it up, we're going to rotate, rotate around ourselves, get a wide base, rotate our arms, we'll stretch over, back to center, stretch to the other side, good, good, good. Now, last part of this, we want to make sure that we get our forearms right, okay? Now, for me, Since it's game day, we're breaking out the game day bats. This was my old bat I used to, yeah, this was my first bat in pro ball that I uh, hit my first home run with. You know, got the back there for you guys. You guys can see, you guys can see, yeah. So what you guys can do, baseball players, you guys can take your bats. You can do some forearm exercises with this. Yeah, you guys can actually do in the clubhouse. You guys could do this in the locker room. You guys could do this in the dugout. All right, so you can grab your bat. And if you don't have a bat, it's all good. You guys can use water jugs or you can use the dumbbells that you guys just used. All right, different ways I'm going to show you. First, first and foremost, 
you're going to do tic tacs. All right, so you take your weight, you have your wrist right above your knee. All right, so it doesn't overextend. We're going to go side to side with the back. All right, you want to do about 30 each side. So taking our time, contracting every time slow. Side. Gripping onto the band with a tight grip. We're going as low as we can take it. Side to side, like a windshield wiper, okay? Take it all the way down, all the way over. All the way down, all the way over. If you guys don't want to keep track of the actual rep, you guys can always go for time. Time is a good indicator as well. You guys can do 30 seconds, and you guys can do 45 seconds, whichever one you feel like you're more comfortable with and on each side. For me, I'm going about 30 seconds. I can see the clock right here in front of me, so I want to make sure that I got to do 30 seconds on each side. Once I do 30 seconds side to side, I'm going to go front to back, making sure I don't hit myself in my head. <laughs> We're going to go front to back, right towards our shoulder, all the way down to the front. Right towards our shoulder, making sure that our wrist is still right there above our knee, that we're not overextending our wrist. All right? So from shoulder, front to down, I'm putting most of that pressure on my arm to pick up and controlling it all the way back down. All right, picking it up all the way back down. We do this for about 30 minutes, or 30 seconds total. Once we get a good 30 seconds of this end, Switch hands. Go switch hands. Here we go. Go to the other side. Tick tap. All right, good, good, good work. Put this chest back, back. We got one more forearm exercise for those that need it to understand what they could do with the dumbbells. You can use the same kind of base. You guys can sit down. Use the same base as far as your knees are going to support your wrist. And you're going to take the dumbbells or your water jug or whatever else of weight. You guys are going to take it in your hand and you're going to go all the way down to your fingertips. And from your fingertips, you're going to roll it back up. All right? So all the way down, roll back up. Okay? That's two. We're going to go for 20, 3, 4. Last one and 20. Good. That's to get your forearm nice and burning right there. You pick up that back again, it's going to feel like a toothpick. I promise you that. You guys are going to pick it up and you're going to be able to swing through it. You got one more. You'll take it from the back. Pause. 
and then you uh, you'll have your wrist once again on your knees, and you guys will be swinging it up. Uh, you don't do as many of these, it doesn't need as many. I'm only gonna go for about 10 to 12. That's about five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, good. Once you guys do that, you guys get a nice little stretch in, you guys pull it back. Make sure that you got to do both sides, push it down on both sides, pull back, push down, this stretches out all the, all the muscle groups in there, okay? Once you get that, you guys are ready for the game, all right? You guys going to be out there flexing on everybody, you're going to be intimidating pitches when you guys are up at bat, you guys going to be looking big at the plate, promise you, follow the game day routine. This is what you got for the day, all right? This is a Sensei workout. Appreciate you guys. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be keep I'm gonna keep coming with different workouts for you guys all year long, all right? Appreciate it.